So now we come to one of my favourite parts of the month. This this is becoming increasingly uh, a little a little spot where I kind of I, I, I kind of dread what might happen. So <laughs> that's mentionable uh, as a Muppet of the Month segment uh, on Watching Brief. But also, it's actually quite satisfying just just to take a moment just to point out how bizarre people can be when it comes to the treatment of of physical heritage. Um, I think I might go first if that's okay. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and that is the story of a family who visited a museum uh, in South End, Essex, uh, a little while ago. Pretty uh, well, and, Priory, wasn't it? A little Priory, exactly. And a uh, Priory, sorry, Priory. Yep. Pretty well, yes. Priory, sorry. I misheard you. Um, and Fredwell Priory uh, has a coffin on display, a coffin, um, or sarcophagus, I guess, carved out of, of a, a sandstone, I believe, not limestone. Um, and it is on display behind perspex on all three sides and a wall behind it. And they thought, that's that's enough. It, it, it provides <laughs> adequate public access. It, it's protected. What can go wrong? Uh, and it seems they, they hadn't, they hadn't, they hadn't allowed for the niche the niche, <laughs> the niche fad, it seems, possibly very niche fad, of plonking children into coffins to take photos of them. It seems that a family put, put one of their kids into this uh, this coffin uh, for a photo opportunity, and on climbing out of the coffin, clunk, um, a piece broke off. Uh, some of the museum uh, staff and volunteers heard this this clunk of the stone apparently they were quote shocked and upset at the unbelievable incident uh, and uh, the con the conservator for the museum said that the coffin was found originally in 1921 with a complete skeleton and would have been that of a senior monk uh, the family weren't caught they were caught on cctv yep. leaving quite quickly <laughs> 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 but the museum proprietors and sort of the owners, I guess, uh, or, or the people who run it, have decided not to release that footage publicly. Uh, presumably, uh, they don't want their say to name and shame. But it would be nice, possibly, if the family came forward and put something towards the cost of conservation. Now, apparently, it's not the end of the world. Apparently, this 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 can be reversed. It can be no, not reversed. But, you know, it can be somehow, you know, hodgepodge together. It can be glued back together again. Um, in terms of conservation but it's it's a strange one isn't it i mean did, did, did i i'm not I'm, it's funny actually i wasn't that angry i wasn't particularly annoyed or frustrated by this I, i'm just surprised i guess i am and i'm not i mean if you remember when we took, had our conversation about the treatment of human remains i mentioned the the idea of the, the of my mum's um, nursing uh, uh, training uh, college at, at, at ealing hospital they had a, a skeleton that they used for mm -hmm. training which people would be photographed with their arm draped with its arm draped around them mm -hmm. and they got uh, and my mum's nursing nursing group got told off for this um, for showing disrespect I think it falls into that sort of sense of the macabre the gothic that we have you know we celebrate it every Halloween uh, we mm -hmm. you know we people dress up you know as ghosts in shrouds and all sorts of, you know, it's where the, the white sheet comes from. It's the burial shroud, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, so you can see why somebody might think it would be amusing to do this. And if something's made of stone, it looks pretty strong. And I, I mean, I know... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, but if, you know, something's, if something's behind perspex in a museum... Well, <laughs> it looks there pretty... is that. There is that, I suppose. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you have that one. Um, but no, I mean, I, in all seriousness, I mean, I, I think... Uh, there is an issue, for, and I'm not singling out Prettlewell Priory in particular here. And I, and I know, um, I, I think it's fair to say, we all know we all know museums have problems. And one of the first things that goes when museums have financial problems is staff. Yeah. And if you haven't got, you know, if you go, if you go to a national trust property that's open to the public, there's normally a volunteer at least in every room to, to, to keep, just to keep an eye on things, to answer questions, to interact with the public, but also to keep an eye on people behaving inappropriately. Yeah, stop you climbing that bookshelf over there. Absolutely. Yeah. If you go to the yeah. British Museum, every gallery that's open has somebody on mm -hmm. duty mm -hmm. do, doing the same thing. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're public facing, but also they're there for, secure, uh, for security. Um, well, and I suppose in that sense, that, that's why I'm not particularly, you know, people were sort of, with, friends actually face to face were sort of saying you know not just 
people sharing this on Arceus, but they were coming up to me and saying, um, you know, I, bet, I, bet, I bet you're livid. And, I, and I'm not in so much as people, pe people will do what people think they can get away yeah. with. <laughs> and also, you, you know, know, in their own way, they were acknowledging the object and acknowledging yeah. the artifact and its in, 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 in its meaning. You know, yeah. they're they're they're, in, they're putting their own meaning on it by by you know plonking their kid in it to take a picture, which you know, you know, I would I would imagine until this until this broke as a national news story, they were probably going to put it on Facebook. Or something. I doubt it. I doubt it's there now. But um, you know, who knows? It might be. But you know what I mean. It, it, I, I, we. We were talking earlier on about the stretches and so on. You know, people will relate to heritage in the way that people will relate to heritage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, when you're running a public display, yeah, you, you have to allow as much as you can for Muppetry. Yeah. But you can't predict absolutely everything. No, no. Um, well, well, and so what's interesting here is that for the museum, they say that this is a historically unique artifact because they don't have much archaeology from the Priory. And so in that sense, it's unique to the site. But these sorts of sarcophagi are recovered elsewhere. And actually elsewhere, they are often left in the ground so that the walls are, in fact, supported by the soil. Mm. And often people do climb in when there isn't rainwater in there. So again, I can sort of understand the compulsion. But Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I know of one on a, a farm not far away from me here in North Kent that's actually used as a, as a, a, flower, a flower planter. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah. You know, so they get, they get other uses as well that aren't necessarily totally respectful of their uh, no, no. historical mm -hmm. importance and... Uh, their historical roots. Hey! Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, 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 you know, you could be symbolic about it, you know, out of death grows yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Etc. Etc. Et and et I suppose in that sense, I'm quite pleased that that this might surprise people. Our reaction to this isn't one of hang them, burn them, but at the same time, I would like to see them possibly take responsibility for their actions. They should not have done what they did. It is a unique object to the priory. My, my, priory, my, my, priory. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I, 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 but I think it, it comes down to edu education again. And, and yeah. I, I, my, my first thought when I uh, got over the initial shock and then the initial chuckle. Actually, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's serious, but it's also actually quite funny. Um, was um, the talk that we give to the students when we take uh, school parties at the British Museum every year? The primary school kids, seven, eight year olds, and I mentioned them before when uh, in, 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 in these talks that, um, that one of my regular um, jobs every year is to do a, a project with young um, with young students like that about archaeology and, tr and archaeology, archaeological treasures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we go to the British. Uh, we go to the British Museum, and the, bef before they are allowed up into the galleries, we talk to them about not touching things. But we don't just say don't touch. We explain why you don't touch. We explain that you got you know oils in your fingers that if they get onto the uh, onto a stone, something made of stone, it can make it dirty and it makes it very difficult to clean, and can erode it over time. And you know all, all, all those things that a conservator will tell you. We put it into child friendly language. Um, and I think we, I don't think we've ever had a serious problem with kids behaving, you know, uh, behaving and handling things inappropriately in mm -hmm. the five years we've been doing it. Mm. You know, uh, we've never had one of those scary British Museum security people come down and tell us off for doing that. Running, running around to make a bit of noise, maybe sometimes, but not, mm. uh, not, 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 not actually touching, you know. Breaking, the, breaking the, the leg off a centaur in the uh, absolutely not. No, 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 cent no centaur was harmed in the making of this. No. Uh, right. So yeah. I mean, okay. So so what's uh, what's what's your Muppet of the Month then? My Muppet of the Month. That's just slightly more serious, and uh, I, I don't want to talk about it directly because obviously there, there are still legal proceedings possibly going uh, going on in 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 Turkey um, over this particular. Incident, but I just wanted to use it as a as a lead into a to, to a general discussion on on this, and it's the case of a British uh, holiday maker called um, Toby Robbins, mm -hmm. who was stopped at the airport trying to uh, leaving Turkey with thirteen coins in his baggage, and right. um, was arrested uh, for illegally exporting cultural material, historical material, without um, notifying the authorities. Right. And there were, this caused a certain amount of a, a flurry of attention in the press. It was, the story ran in the mail and various other 
um, papers. Uh, Mr. Robbins supposedly or re claims or re is reported rather to have found these coins while snorkeling, um, obviously in the in, in, in the Mediterranean, um, and fair enough, things do turn up. Uh, yeah. Okay, 13 coins is a lot to turn up just casually on the seabed, but, you know, he, he may have done a lot of snorkeling or he may have, but the implication being that, you know, they're, they're, they're historical coins and, and, and they, they, they found their way into his possession and he um, tried to take them out of the country. Um, we have to give him the benefit of the doubt and maybe he didn't realise what the Turkish cultural laws were in terms of exporting antiquities. Mm -hmm. Um what holiday maker would do probably mm -hmm. but it's the i think the there was a and again I'm, I'm not now talking about that case at all um you know the facts are, the facts are what they are and we and we don't know how it's going to be resolved but i think the general point is that uh, most countries have cultural laws about mm. the export of cultural material and with the increasing interest in history and family history and things like that, or even just people just curious, I mean, people, you know, what's the most, you know, what, what's the thing you're offered first? Uh, you, you, people report you, you you go to Cairo. What do you offer? You usually counterfeit Egyptian antiquities and occasionally a few real ones that have been ripped off from from, from sites by people trying to make a, you know make some money. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but beware if you're caught trying to take them out of the country. Mm, mm. Um, there is that, 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 that finders keepers doesn't apply in these cases, and I think you. Know, no, no, and I, I think it, 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 it's um, uh, it would be easy, I think, in this sort of case to run to the sort of you know, post-colonial mm. argument to sort of say that somehow this was an in, entitled Brit thinking he could just pick up That's, some coins from a, yeah. and. Uh, uh, Ah, you know, it's very tempting to think that. It's very tempting to think that you know this guy uh, was just basically being some, in some way, arrogant. And that was but certainly actually, the subtext. That was certainly the subtext of some of the newspaper coverage. You know, yeah. How, how dare these Turkish people try and stop a Briton you know, flying home with the, with it with it with it with the things that he's picked up on his holiday? Yeah. 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 Um, whereas actually, uh, it, 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 another you know a, a, a more productive way of thinking about it is not so much that 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 he willfully did something wrong but rather actually that that and as we were touching on earlier in this particular you know segment or this, this series of segments uh, in terms of the essentially the public perception of archaeology archaeologists and the implication of archaeology and the professionalism of archaeology and so on and so forth the fact that it didn't occur to this person uh, that actually this was yeah. otherwise reportable otherwise physical history is as an education problem as much as it is an attitude problem so um yeah muppets certainly but not you know not 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 an international dealer in antiquities uh, 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 yeah a uh, 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 a fool rather than a knave possibly uh, you know so yeah. I, th I think the the, you know, the, 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 the important thing it, it, it is for people and, I, and again we need to, as archaeology i think we need to you know, keep on reinforcing this that um the past we, we're very fond of talking about ownership in terms of the past. The past belongs to everybody. Mm -hmm. In legal terms, very often, the past belongs either to the landowner or to the state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it belongs, you know, physically, those items of the past belong to someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as everybody should know, if you take something that belongs to somebody else, that's stealing. Yeah, there'll be re legal repercussions, certainly. Absolutely. Well, uh... That brings us to our, the end of our Muppets of the Month segment.